have for you here, Sagittarius. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. And so what we're seeing here is that something major is about to happen in your life. And maybe you have already seen it started happening uh, in the recent past. What we're seeing with the Wheel of Fortune is that the events that are about to happen for you can really be life changing. And this is a good change. This is a happy change and perhaps something that happened in a way that it's really random. The way you are starting this new situation and you're meeting with this new person is unconventional, is clearly something that requires a lot of luck and randomness in order, in order for it to happen. So what I see here is that you are going to start a very passionate chapter with someone who adores you. What I'm seeing is in fact with this Nine of Cups, and I want to start with this card immediately, is a person who is thinking the world of you. They love everything that they see. They look at you, they think about you, and they cannot find anything wrong. They cannot find any imperfection. To them, to this Knight of Cups, you are perfect. You are beautiful. They love the way you move, the way you talk. Everything that relates to you seems absolutely perfect to them. This is clearly someone who is already very emotional. They love being with someone, exchanging uh, love, respect with another person. And to them, this is one of their priorities in life. Connecting with someone, building memories, being with a person who they can uh, rely on. And overall, just in the future, look back and remember things together and be happy about those memories. What we're seeing here is that this person will now do anything that they can in order to impress you, in order to make you fall in love with them. This is not someone who's afraid to put themselves out there, to buy you gifts, to admit how they feel towards you. And that's already such a good thing because often we are around people who like to play games, who like to uh, just hide things in order to be in control of the situation. But this is not what this person is going to do. There is, a, there is a but, there is something that we have to clarify on that, but for the most part, this person is going to be really honest with you. What is that uh, little element that it's different from the Nine of Cups that I wanted to mention to you? It comes with this King of Swords, and what I'm seeing is that there is some thinking about how the situation is unfolding at this moment in time. Why do I say that? I say that because this person, and perhaps you as well, are making sure that they don't, be, don't look desperate to the other person, for example. What I'm seeing here is someone who might be checking how many messages they have sent you and how many messages you have sent them to make sure that that number is as balanced as possible. How many times do you initiate the conversation how many times do they initiate the conversation? They want to make sure that all of those elements are balanced so that they don't look desperate. Of course, they feel the urge and they don't they could they could care less about them always initiating the conversation. But at the same time, this is a king. It's someone who has gone through this before. And they know that at times, in order to create that interest, you have to be a tiny bit mysterious. Not that this is who they are, they, they are quite the opposite, but they want to make sure that they play their cards in the best way possible, that their moves will not be counterproductive. And so what you're seeing here is clearly someone who's thinking about making, creating a special environment around you and make you feel special, but at the same time, not 
burning all of their moves, using all of their moves immediately, trying to do things right and at the right time, especially. This two of cups is just the two of you spending time together. And this is going to be so special for you, Sagittarius. If you are someone who really finds happiness in emotional connections, this is going to make you really happy. Right now, we see someone who can make you laugh, who is really trying to show you the best part of themselves because when they're with you, they want to be uh, a better person. They feel like they can. This connection is giving them a lot of strength and is just creating this beautiful match between the two of you, which really seems to be special. I see someone here cooking for you, uh, listening to you, to your dreams, to your aspirations, and just being a very supportive person. Almost like we are in this together. Maybe you want to do something being on the same page, collaborating together. I was just going to talk about this. Maybe you want to do something in a field where they are involved as well and they can help you out. This person is really supportive, whether it's with actual uh, actions or just emotionally. This person really wants you to be happy and then hopefully be happy with them. So we see how this energy actually leaks in both of your environments. And most of these things are valid for the both of you. But I want to see more into how you feel for this person right now. What your heart feels whenever you are right next to them. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, you clearly are feeling very emotional right now. This is a card that shows someone who is in tune with their emotions, who is acting and thinking based on those emotions. You are leading with your heart. You feel excited. Your heart has awakened again. And you feel as though this is almost meant to happen. Again, back to that Wheel of Fortune, something that would have not happened. A random event which brought you together right now feels like the best thing that has ever happened in your life. And I love to see how honest you are being to yourself. You are not trying to hide the way you feel to yourself. You're not trying to slow things down because of fear, because of doubts. No, you're just jumping on this train and enjoying it a hundred percent. And the Queen of Cups talks about emotional support, which is really making me think that the two of you are supporting each other in this first initial chapter. I love to see how this is giving you a lot of happiness and passion, and it's uh, putting you in touch, connecting you with your heart once again, perhaps after a long time that you haven't been, but with this person, it feels right. This person, this connection, this situation is good news. This is an opportunity to manifest a goal of yours. And it can be a relationship goal if that's what you were looking for. But also with the Page of Pentacles, we see even a uh, broader goal, not just in one area. There is something here that can come out of this connection, which can benefit a lot of different areas in your life. As we were saying, we see this Three of Pentacles here. This person has connections. This person has friends or has some sort of knowledge that can help you out in the pursuit of your goal or your goals here. This is a major opportunity that you have ahead coming up because it can truly change your life for the better on so many levels. And I love to see this for you because there is nothing better than starting to see things working out for you. 
you might be coming from a time where you didn't fully see where your life was going, what your purpose was, what you were able to really build in the next months, in the next years. But this person, other than bringing love and um, support, they're also bringing clarity. They're showing you where you are going, but also where you want to be. And it's beautiful to see because from that moment forward, once you know where you want to go, now you just need to walk down that journey and get to your goal, get to your destination. So this is clearly something beautiful that is coming up your way and something that can truly change uh, the environment around you. Night of Wands. This is an unexpected event coming up actually soon as well. Something that will perhaps officialize the situation, will make things more clear and will define the intentions of this person and your intentions as well. That Night of Wands to me looks like a night together, a time spent together where the two of you will completely a hundred percent open up about what you want and how you want to achieve it as well. So let's look into that night of wands. Regardless, we see that something amazing is coming your way, Sagittarius. So get ready for it because this can really change at least the rest of your year. But from what I'm sensing, much longer than that as well. So let's see what this night of wands is. What's coming up for you? What is that perhaps conversation going to be about and how this event is going to change the situation, the relationship from that moment forward? Let's see what that is. If you want to dive deeper into the messages and hear the rest of the reading, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to so offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. So please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Sagittarius. First of all, we have a beautiful situation starting up for you. A connection that is so emotional, fulfilling, but also, um, uh, enabling you will enable you to achieve major milestones in your life and overall what you have here is a life changing moment is a turning point into your journey and we will have to see how the situation is actually evolving in the near future to understand the impact in the distant future as well while i was closing out the previous reading cards kept flying off the deck and we have seen here coming up two amazing cards the ten of cups and the lovers right here listen you can uh think about what you want of this situation of this relationship at first but you clearly have something which is going to be with you for a very long time perhaps for the rest of your life this is major and these cards alone have a lot of messages that we will have to look into. And we will look into it in just a few minutes. First of all, I want to look into the Knight of Wands and see what it is, this unexpected event coming up where the two of you, I do perceive you're going to talk about the situation much more in depth and clarify what your intentions are. And by the way, these cards really want to talk to you and the Ten of Cups came up again. This is absolutely beautiful with the Nine of Wands, and I cannot wait to tell you what this is. First of all, I'm right next to you.